Look me in my eyes, nigga, I'ma win. I'ma get this money, nigga, I'ma live. First nigga in my family with some legal bread. Had to risk it all just to win big. I can stack them hundreds to the roof. I ain't stopping till they stack to the moon. Nigga, without me, my family wouldn't have food. Anybody go against me, gotta lose. What's up, guys? Mike with Investment Empire. I just want to do a quick video on introduction to options and penny stock trading. Um, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions, and I know a lot of you uh, may not even have a broker yet. You know, you, you didn't even open up a trading account. You, you're just thinking about it. Oh, should I get TD Ameritrade? Should I get Robinhood? Should I do Weeble? Um, you know, both of those, honestly, I recommend one of the two, uh, either Robinhood or Weeble. I prefer Robinhood because I trade options, and Weeble does not trade options. But you know, get yourself a, a Robinhood account, but also make sure you get a TD Ameritrade account. You get the paper trading account for free, and there is no limit, and there is no uh, minimum balance that you need to have in your account. So you don't need to fund your TD Ameritrade account right when you get it, and you know, pay all those expensive fees per tr trade. I mean, that's why something like Robinhood would be better to start with when you're a beginner or intermediate trader. Till you really learn the things that you're supposed to learn, like, you know, learning everything from your, these are like Fibonacci retracements to learning your, you know, trend lines and learning how to, you know, like, it's just pretty much, you know, you're going to have to, you know, learn and then crawl before you walk, I guess you could say. And that's the best way to learn. I mean, like I said, you guys can trade with us every day, live. If you'd like, um, just message me and I'll send you the details on how to do that. But all you need to do is um, set up both accounts. When you set this up, it'll take about a day, a couple hours, an hour, not even, <laughs> you know, real quick. Set both of them up. Robinhood, you can fund it and you can be trading immediately. But if you don't want to do that, get on the paper trade. Now, I do recommend changing your positions. Now, what I mean by that is here when when you open up the paper trading account you obviously know you're not gonna fund your account with two hundred thousand dollars to start trading and you don't you're not an experienced trader that just wouldn't be intelligent that wouldn't i would not recommend that for anybody <coughs> now why is that no oh, wait two are Hold on one second. Sorry, there's a just cash. There we go. Now, this is what you're going to do when you want to, uh, you know, figure out how much money you want to, you know, start with. So if you, let's say you want to put $1,000 in your account. Okay. Jump ahead, maybe give yourself 2,500 bucks so you get used to some margin, 3,000 even, let's say 3,000. 5,000. There you go. That's realistic. The difference between your profits and 5,000 when you're learning, if you're trade trading to learn and um, when you actually start trading or these work great too for starting out your trades. Like if you're nervous about a trade, you know, you're using this to find all your data. So just do that paper trade. You know, it, it can't hurt to do the paper trade and let's do that. Let's see if they give you 200,000, we're going to do 5,000. So it's a minus 195,000. Okay. Now that starts you out with five thousand dollars. That's a more realistic goal. Forex, ten thousand dollars. Same thing. You get leverage with Forex. I'll explain Forex more when we do. Um, that's you know you're gonna use more of an MT4 like an and uh, Forex.com something like that to actually do your trades. This is a live Forex account. Uh, it's my personal trading account. I use this daily. Um, between this. And I usually don't use it on Oanda. That's actually for the next video setup. Um, I use Interactive Brokers, TD Ameritrade, but I use ProTrader MC. It's just a terminal. It's like Bloomberg's terminal. You pay for it and you're able to, you know, it integrates multiple brokers. So it's, you know, I, I have my TD Ameritrade account. I have my Interactive Brokers account. I have my Orlando account. I have my Forex.com account. I have, you know what I mean? I, I, I That's where I have my Tastyworks account. Um, Actually, I don't have that link to ProTrader. I just kind of keep that separate. Tastyworks is actually pretty cool, too. It's made by the people who made Thinkorswim. 
Um, Casey Trade, the guy, uh, whatever his name is, that started it. I can't even think of it right now. But, yeah, they developed that. It's, it's not as advanced. Like I said, it's just easier to get the thinkorswim platform and you get to do all your stuff. But now, like I was saying, just when you start paper trading, knock that cash down. You know, figure out something more realistic that you're going to trade with. And then, I mean, if you if you plan on putting $10,000 in, put 10,000 and, you know, work with it right there. But obviously most people are going to be looking for, I, from talking to people, I mean, there, I, I, got, I got people, you can put a hundred dollars in and into your trading account and, and start it off. I mean, there's, especially trading options I mean, today with, I was helping, a, I was doing a live trade with one of our other members and we did, that was right here. Let's see here. Where is it? Best buy right here. We bought the 53 strike price best buys at 47 cents, sold them at 74. Only one contract. That's a $53. And that was within like 20 minutes, 30 minutes that we made that trade. You know what I mean? It was just a quick, just because he wanted to see how to do it. He wanted to execute a trade. I found him one. Um, and we executed it before the market closed. <clears throat> you know, uh, obviously he used one of his a um, day trades. You're only allowed three day trades per every five days of trading. So that means... If you trade, if you buy and sell the same stock on Monday, next month, you know, and then Wednesday, you do the same thing with a different stock, buy and sell the same stock. And then Friday, you make this another similar trade like that. The next Monday, you'll get one day trade back where you can do that again. Then that Wednesday, you'll get the second day trade back. And that Friday, you'll get the third day trade back, if that makes sense. But yeah, the, I mean, that's what we did. Um, and he, 53 bucks, made $27. Um, you know, he started his account with hundred dollars. Now his accounts at one hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So it's and he's robbing no fees. So he, you know, made that just at twenty-seven dollars. But I just made that. So it, it's it, it's nice. I mean that that'll help grow your account. Um, and obviously, the more you have, the better. <laughs> you know, I guess you can uh, you can do if you put a thousand dollars in there. I mean, just off that simple day trade. And if if you're holding it, I recommended that we were going to hold it till tomorrow. Um, I'm actually in my actual trading account. Um, I'd have to load up the PTC or my interactive brokers. I'm still on it. I'm actually, I'm actually, I only did five contracts, um, but I bought five of the put contracts and you know, I mean, so far I'm, <laughs> that's, this put is at, I'll tell you right now, hold on one second. What is this put right now? Closed 53 right here, a dollar five. So that means my contracts are worth, let's see here, it's 58 cents to my profit. Here's equal 58, five. So I'm up 290 bucks. 290 bucks. <clears throat> off of $47 equals the $235 investment. So I've, I've, I've more than doubled my money. That's over 50% profit. I mean, you see that for, for, you know, that's over 50% like, so, you know, if you, uh, you made that trade with $2,000, over 50% profit, you're going to make a thousand dollars. You get what I mean? So it, it's, there are ways to grow your account. You just have to know what to look for. Um, now a little basic explanation of this. So you understand combining both brokers and actually trading with both. I mean, you, these strike prices are going to be the same on no matter what broker you're on. The bids and ask on TD Ameritrade, you get real time data. That's the other thing. Um, when you do start your paper trading account, uh, message them and say, you need to just go to your support chat right here and you'll get a little box and then live support and then create support request chat rooms. You can even, uh, let's see here. Chat for global news, not chat rooms here. Yeah. Just do live support and then create support request and say, <clears throat> I'm involved in a trading class and I need to get real time market data so I can execute, so I can practice, so I can pretty much practice my trades before I execute them. I wanna, you know, make sure it's a good trade before I'm executing it. And that, that's a good thing to do too. Like if you're, you're doing all your research on here and figuring it out, just execute the trade real quick 
execute it on yours. Look at it for a second if you want. Make sure it's doing what you think it's going to do, starting to do. You know, if you think it's going to start going up, you know, make sure you, you, if you get in the right, you know what I mean? So then you can check it out, make sure everything's going good. Boom. Don't waste too much time. Go to your Robin Hood. Find that strike. You know, obviously this is Apple. So we, you know, here, I'll get you an Apple so you guys can see. APL. <coughs> Now we'll do, we'll just say these 132s right here. 132 right there. Now you're going to buy that call. That's that 132 strike price. See, now that contract's worth $11.10. Holy cow. Oh, wait, no, that's a, okay, that's Apple. Okay, so it's 11.10. So that 132 is, I'm, I'm almost thinking I was talking about That's <laughs> why I'm like, Jesus, criminy. But no, uh, yeah. So with Apple, we got our, where did that 132 go? 132, it closed at 1055 on the ask. So Robinhood's data may be a little bit off. You may pay a little bit more, I guess, for Robinhood. But um, you want to make sure like your percent change is the same, all that stuff. Like you'll see that all here too. Your percent change, where did that 132 go? 52.6, yeah. So maybe you pay a little bit more on it. Usually it's the exact same price. If not, it may be like a couple pennies different. But <clears throat> that's an expensive contract. You wouldn't really buy that contract that's so in the money. You're going to make money off of it. But it's just, it's not worth it for trading options. I mean, you'd be more looking for like this 142 right here. Okay, so at 142, you know the price is at $142. So you add this ask price. Actually, you really add the mark. But that changes periodically because the mark is basically the in-between of the bid and the ask. So always know if you've got your ask price, it'll be the top dollar that you'll pay for your break even. Now I'll say that means you have to add, if you're buying a call option, calls meaning you want the market to go up, puts meaning you want the market to go down. <clears throat> if you buy your call option at the 142 strike price, take 142 plus $1.70, that would be 143.70. Now, once the market starts going up from that, theoretically, I mean, obviously, there's other things that go into it, and I'll make a video explaining all of everything, explaining the whole option chain and how options work and move. But theoretically, that stop, that premium contract then, this ask price, will go up, and it'll go up tremendously, probably more like as depending on what the stock falls to, you know what I mean? It, it could be, you know, like let's say it goes up because, you know, Apple did horrible yesterday. Let's say they do a little bit, it goes down a little bit more in the morning panic and then it decides to rise. I mean, that's probably not going to happen. You're going to be safer off playing if you're going to go tomorrow doing puts than sells, especially if you're going to do the morning panic because it's going to sell off. You can get a good put. But I'm giving Apple as a, <laughs> a theoretical, you know, conversation, I guess. But let's say it would go up tomorrow everybody's like yeah i want to get back in because apple's at a low price let's get back in it'll goes up and it goes back up to you know 157 dollars you know what i mean let's say 160 you know what i mean freaking 150 okay so you got your dollar 70 there that so that's 143.70 it goes up to 150 whatever the difference is pretty much you'll get that so 140, what did I say? 143.7. So let's see here, yeah. So $143.70 goes up to the 160 even, whatever. That's $16.30. So let's say it went up to 160. Uh, I'm looking at strike price, but that's saying I'm saying this price, the actual price per share of Apple goes up to 160. <clears throat> you would make a difference of the $16.30 per share. Now, each option contract represents 100 shares. So this contract would have costed you $170. And you're going to walk away with for the one contract. You're going to profit $1,630. That could be the huge rise. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen in a day. That would be like a crazy, you know what I mean? You'd be looking more at, if <laughs> Apple's probably not even going to go up. It might even go down tomorrow and settle right back in that same zone. And these close, tomorrow's Friday, so 
um, you know, it, it, the, these options are out of, you know what I mean? But they're, they're going to be expired come tomorrow. Options close. Like the, the weeklies close every Friday. That's the other thing you can pick your, you know, close. You have your, the four, you know, January 4th, January 11th. These are your monthlies in gray, but January 25th, February 1st, that's every week. So, and that's every Friday they close and you don't want to hold it. If you hold because buying an option gives you the right not the obligation to um, to uh, basically you get those at that share. So um, ex it's called executing your sorry I couldn't even remember that but executing your options. You get the you it basically it's like let's say it does go up. You buy this at one forty two and you have a you need to have the money to cover it. So if you let's say you have that you buy that contract and you have a hundred shares and you don't close you then own or owe for a hundred shares at $142. Even though the market may be up, you're still not gonna be, unless you have the money to cover it, you can't execute those options. So, I mean, it's just easier to trade the premium. Trading the premium is trading the price difference, just like any other stock, just basically treating this like a stock, think about it, but with different ways to make it move, you know, based off of the actual stock price, if that makes sense. Like I said, I'll get into it more and be able to get you guys going. Now, I do hope that, uh, you know, you guys do, you know, kind of come along and trade daily. That's probably the more easy. That's probably the easiest way, rather, to uh, learn. I mean, you're, you're, even if you don't trade with real cash because you want to start learning, do the paper trade. Like I said, get your account, figure out what you're going to do, how much you're going to fund it. I mean, honestly, you you can change and you can change this to whatever. Like if you want, and you can go right back up if you really want to. But if you want to adjust the cash, you know, you're, you're only going to do 500 bucks minus that. Get yourself, you know, what is that? 4,500. Say you got about a thousand bucks. So then minus 4,000. Start start with a thousand dollars, you know. Boom, right there. If you, that's what you're planning. If you're planning five hundred dollars, start with a thousand dollars. Planning on putting two hundred and fifty dollars, put in five hundred bucks. You know, put in you know even a thousand bucks. You know, you, yes, you won't be making exactly as much as you're gonna make with that. You know, because you won't be able to buy the amount, but you can still mimic the same thing. You know, buy one contract at a time if you want. You're only spending then if you bought that, like the contract I explained with that Apple. You know. A hundred and what is that? What did I say that was at 170? So 170 bucks. You know what I mean? So it's not it's not bad. And and I, and the what I explained too, it's not that's not not been done. I mean, especially Apple's volatility lately has been up in like the fifty high fifty percentile. So actually maybe high forties, something like it. it's been it's been pretty freaking high. So I mean. That it, volatility is like the difference of the stock moving up and down. That's the easiest way to explain it um, is its price fluctuating throughout the day a lot. And for some people, that's good. For some people, that's bad. You know, I mean, it, it's just you have to know how to trade it. Um, but, you know, I just I uh, really do hope that you guys, you know, kind of like I said, follow along, try to trade daily. Um, I'm going to be doing another one of these for Forex. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Uh, we'll get you your Forex down. Um, I'll show you what accounts to open. Because I know nobody probably has a, most people that I talk to that are interested in Forex, they don't even have a Forex account. They don't even know the beginnings of how it works. So um, I'm going to get, you know, get that going. But I know op, trading options in penny stocks is the most common that, you know, everybody wants. Um, and it's what I do daily. You know, I start to hit the Forex when the market's close. You know what I mean? That's when I might even do crypto here and there. I mean, the crypto I have now, I just kind of hold. I'm not the biggest fan of trading crypto. I do. I have, you know, a crypto trader. I don't, I really use a multi facet platform to trade my crypto, like my PTMC. This is, like I said, um, the terminal, you know, it's like Bloomberg's terminal, just a hell of a lot cheaper. You know, Bloomberg's terminal is like $28,000 a year. This is like 1200 you know, like 50 bucks a month. So it's, you know, you can get it. It's not much. <laughs> So, you know, it, it makes it a lot easier. And like I said, multi broker facet, you know, I got all my different brokers in there. But anyways, um, definitely get the TD Ameritrade, get the Robin Hood. If you're only interested in pending stocks, you can get Weeble. They're a little, their charts are a little bit better than Robin Hood's. But I mean, if you're using the, 
TD Ameritrade platform to do all your market data and research as it is. And like I said, it's easier executing that trade. Um, you know, it's it just makes life a heck of a lot easier. You know, I mean, if you execute that trade, it would just be, you know, you're just buying it right there. Just click the buy, dollar seven. I mean, this is just a market order. So, you know, you're gonna buy one contract, confirm and send. And it'll tell you where your break even price is. You know what I mean? Your break even price is at 143.70. So as long as that stock hits 143.70, you'll at least break even. Anything over that, theoretically, you'll make more money. You know, like I explained. Your max profit's infinite on this, you know. So but you know, that's all I got for you right now. Uh stay tuned if you want the Forex video. Um, you know. Just, uh, yeah, trade well, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's all about that money-motivated mindset. Uh, you could really make a career out of this. I mean, you can – I fund my entire life. Yes, I have a couple other businesses. I do uh, – I have a real estate investment company that I own, and I mean, but that started from being a day trader. I would never have been able to invest in real estate if I did not make the money I make from trading – stocks i mean and I, I trade penny stocks options and forex i don't you know <laughs> i'm not you know i generally like to trade a small account i mean if you keep like in small i mean about a ten thousand dollar account and I, I like to pay myself monthly you know that you 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 can do the same thing i mean literally you take your trades and you, you pay yourself every single month i mean you make say you make 50 percent gain on profits that's 50 but you make five grand that month what other job are you going to do that you can work anywhere and make five grand in a month? You know what I mean? And that's just honestly on the low, low, low end. You know what I'm saying? Like the ten, twenty thousand dollar account, it depends. Like my TD Ameritrade account, I have no more than ten thousand dollars. My director broker, it's like twenty five, and that's those are ideal. Now I know people. I I don't understand why a lot of traders don't want to like discuss what they trade and all that stuff. I mean, it's just, it's, I don't know if they make, you don't want to make you feel bad or whatnot, but it's not, that's what you'll be doing. Um, when I started, I started out with $2,500 and I grew my account. Well, the first time I ever did, that's why I actually do this is the first time I ever did, um, I lost money. I didn't start with much, lost a thousand bucks. I tried to follow someone thinking I had, you know, I paid for it, thinking I had one of them paid people and you, you know, you're going to get all these things and follow their trades and all this trades sucked and I lost money. So I just, you know, relentlessly searched, found some mentors and, you know, really just gave it my all and learned everything I could about them. I mean, I'm still learning because you, you never stop learning, you know, but I, I mean, I'm, I, you know, I learned everything you could about, you know, the market and trading and the patterns and how things work and why things move, you know, that that's what, that's my goal to teach you guys. So, you know, I'm hoping that everybody does tune in and you can make some money along the way. I mean, <laughs> that's the, that's the name of the game man. make some money and do what you want to do. If you want to buy fancy cars and all that, I mean, that's not me. I like to have my nice good life and you know, that I'm trying to build and, you know, get this future going, but yeah. Um, you know, but uh, it was nice chatting with you guys, and I will uh, see you next time on the next one.